Okay, just doing a little more testing of uh, the HY1000 uh, with some stacked grid tie inverters hooked in parallel to uh, split the uh, output of the turbine. We've got a little bit of a rainstorm coming in. Mm. The wind was a little bit better before. I've got a break now, but uh, maybe some 10, 15 mile an hour gusts. I've got the output of each inverter separately uh, tracked by a kilowatt. So I'm gonna unbreak the turbine here, get her going, and we'll see what the output is. Again, two identical Sun G grid tie inverters. What I've seen so far with the uh, lower wind testing is uh, one GTI up to about 50 watts of output on one of the kilowatts tends to hold it hold the output uh, with very little on the other but once uh, the uh, winds pick up and the output gets about uh, about 50 to 60 watts then uh, it's a little more evenly shared the W and the E just ignore that Ordinarily, these designate my two different turbines, west and east. The one on the left is the turbine closest to the brake switch. And it's showing the higher reading. The one on the right is the uh, lower grid tie inverter. And it does seem that the one uh, holds on to a little bit more output than the other, but it does seem to be splitting. As I mentioned in the other video, the whole point of this was to uh, try to control this uh, turbine a little more effectively. This is a pretty darn good turbine. It uh, definitely puts out the juice and I've had some issues blowing out GTIs and uh, with a big bad windstorm we had a couple of months ago. Uh, whether it was an inadequately sized dump load, I don't know, but the blade speed got going a bit too much, blew the blades right off the turbine. So I am looking to see if I can't um, control this bad boy a little bit better with the two GTIs under higher wind conditions. Each one of these GTIs is going to its own dump load here, kind of a crappy wiring job for my testing here. These uh, are single dump load coils being sold by a Chinese seller on eBay that uh, appears to be affiliated with Sun G or at least is claiming to have matched and tested these with the uh, Sun 1000G inverters. I've not had any horrible wind condition, not horrible, but uh, dangerous wind conditions. I've had a couple of gusts get me into overvolt. And they certainly work in terms of, uh, I was here at the time and putting out some heat. Now this is kind of interesting, we had about 100 watts of output on the one with really nothing on the other. You can hear the rain coming in a little bit. Nice to get a little rain. Kind of break the drought we're having out here in the Intermountain West. But the idea here is that among other things under high wind conditions uh, uh, this uh, arrangement would uh, split the power up a little bit and maybe take a little bit of the stress off a single GTI. Maybe even allow for some more output um, before uh, overvolting, dump loading. And uh, being able to have two separate dump load coils in the mix. So we'll hold on here a little bit longer, see if we get some more gusts here as the storm comes in, such as it is. But I've tested this arrangement uh, off and on, and uh, having the two stacked does not appear to um, otherwise hold down the RPMs compared to the one. Now we're getting a good gust there. 
Maybe we'll get a couple of nice gusts. Get us uh, some more output here. But it doesn't seem to have any different performance compared to just having a single uh, 1000 1 kilowatt to GTI going. Just getting a few gusts in here. This is a pretty modest uh, storm we've got coming through here, which is nice. No hail, no tornadoes, just a little bit of rain. Well, it doesn't look like this is going to amount to much, but gives you an idea um, how this is looking under fairly modest wind conditions. As I said, under lower wind conditions, uh, where you're maybe only getting 50 to 60 watts of output, um, fairly low voltage, I'd imagine. Um, I don't have anything hooked up to measure right now. That uh, Now it's already kind of interesting, almost up to 200 watts on the one and virtually none on the other. So it's hard, you know, so it's certainly not predictable, let's put it that way. I don't know uh, how these devices uh, sort of interact with one another, but there are times when it's more or less relatively equally shared and other times when it's really imbalanced here, and that's obviously the case here. Almost 200 watts of output, making me look like I'm lying with the uh, what I said before, but that's what it was doing before. So pretty unpredictable in terms of the splitting, but as you saw earlier, it does split the voltage. So uh, just something else to add to the brain trust on these micro uh, turbines. Signing off.